Hey everybody, Pastor Stephen Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. I've got some really bad news. Unfortunately, Pastor Donnie Romero has stepped down as pastor of Steadfast Baptist Church in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, there was a big meeting about it on Wednesday night at church. He basically, at the beginning of the service, announced that he was stepping down. And then I helped out for the rest of the service by fielding questions and you know giving everybody a chance to to say their piece and and we answered the questions we talked about the way forward you know and, and that was kind of the big thing is figuring out where do we go from here and talking about a new pastor and things like that and i just want to start out by saying that i was very impressed by the way steadfast baptist church handled this and i have great respect for the people here. It is a great church because the, the the spirit of, you know, even even in light of such a negative turn of events and and obviously this is this this is devastating for people and people are heartbroken about it, but there was just such a spirit of just loving the Lord, wanting to serve him, wanting to continue. I mean, they're living up to the name steadfast and so I really appreciate the spirit and the people that are here because obviously at the end of the day we serve the Lord Jesus Christ we look to Christ we don't look to a man as the rock of our salvation or as the foundation of our faith and so it was just great to see the way the, the questions were asked and the statements that were made it, it was all good all the questions were great questions all the statements that people stood up and made you know I was able to amen because uh, they said a lot of great things and and so Anyway, in that meeting, we didn't go into detail as to what the actual specific sins were that disqualified Pastor Romero, why he needed to step down. And part of that is because, you know, his wife and kids are there and, and this had nothing to do with his wife or kids. This is him. These are sins that he committed. And so we don't want to humiliate them or, or disturb them. So with his wife and children presence, we don't want to go into that, and 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 not only that, but we want to give people a chance to process this. It, you know, I, I think it was just enough of a bombshell on Wednesday night to just know that that he's stepping down, that he's disqualified himself, whatever. But in this video, I do want to mention what the specific sins were, without going into any details, just because of the fact that I think it's important to be transparent. It's the right thing to do, even if it hurts people's feelings, even if People are offended, and uh, we think about those things. Obviously, we care about people's feelings, and we love people, and we want to see people restored, and we want to help people. But at the same time, when you're in a public position of trust, like being a pastor, and you commit major sins, then you know it's it just isn't right to sweep it under the rug. And so these things have to be confronted head on. Having integrity is important. Doing the right thing matters. Now, this isn't just a small thing where uh, obviously everybody's human, nobody's perfect, people are going to make mistakes, people are going to do wrong, even pastors are human. But when it crosses the line to where these are grievous sins that would get someone kicked out of their church, that would get someone obviously removed from their position as pastor, these things need to be confronted head on. And so I'm just going to mention you know what the sins were without going into detail basically the the major sin involved was being with prostitutes and then there were also marijuana and gambling that were also discovered so anyway again steadfast baptist church the people there they're great people they're godly christians none of them have been tainted with any of this none of them were involved in any of this um and so uh, this church, I, I believe, has a bright future ahead for it. It's still a great church. There are a lot of wonderful people here. And, and I'm not just saying, I mean, I was blown away. I give them an A plus on Wednesday night. And just the conversations I've had with people since Wednesday night, it's been, it's been a blessing. And uh, I'm really impressed with the way people are handling it. And so I hope that you'll pray for Steadfast Baptist Church and uh, pray for the Lord's will to be done. And... We just continue serving God. You know, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And so uh, none of that changed. And so we still believe the word of God 
And if somebody lets us down, we just keep on going and looking unto Jesus. He's the author and finisher of our faith. God bless you.